A jerboa's tail is usually longer than its head and body combined. The jerboa is a small, hopping rodent that lives in the deserts of northern Africa and Asia. Jerboas are incredibly cute animals and have very long ears, tails, and hind feet that give them an almost cartoonish appearance. They also have specially adapted legs that allow them to move about by jumping like a kangaroo. Surprisingly, for desert creatures, jerboas are animals that don't drink water. Instead, the plants and insects they consume give them the hydration they need. Despite their adorable appearance, it is illegal to have a jerboa as a pet. Since they do not thrive in captivity, it is also cruel to the animal. They can survive temperature fluctuations from below freezing to more than 130 degrees Fahrenheit. A jerboa's tail can be twice as long as its body which is usually about 2 to 6 inches long. These rodents live in burrows, especially to escape heat and predators. Jerboas are animals that have earned a reputation for being extremely cute as well as resilient. These tiny desert rodents have a distinctive appearance and thrive in the harsh, dry desert environments of northern Africa and Asia. There are approximately 33 species of jerboas. They all share the same general features of a tiny, mouse-like head, large, owlish eyes, disproportionately long ears, and a long, powerful tail. They also have very short arms and long, cat-like whiskers that they use to navigate their environments. As its name suggests, the long-eared jerboa has even longer ears than other species of this rodent. Jerboas only grow to be 2 to 6 inches long, and their tails can be more than twice as long as their head and body combined. Both males and females share a similarly soft, sand-colored coat of fur that helps them blend into their desert surroundings, and both sexes only weigh about an ounce when fully grown, about the weight of a standard light bulb. They are crepuscular, which means that they are most active in the twilight period of the day, but they are also active at night. Their enormous eyes and long whiskers help them to navigate the darkness easily. They are generally solitary and secretive creatures as well and usually live alone in burrows. Their shy nature has actually made it difficult for researchers to gather information on their habits and behaviors. The jerboa can be found across Asia and down through northern Africa. Jerboas prefer arid desert climates, and their bodies are well designed to thrive in these hot and sandy habitats. They make burrows in the desert sands and spend most of the hot daylight hours sleeping in these cooler spaces. During the rainy season, jerboas will look for taller hills to burrow into in order to avoid flooding. One interesting fact about jerboas is that they have multiple burrows that they cycle through depending on the time of year. They will create two separate, permanent, burrows to serve as their summer and winter homes, but they will also create temporary burrows while they are out hunting as well. Jerboas hibernate in the winter, so their winter burrows are constructed to maximize warmth and safety. Permanent summer burrows are where jerboa pups are raised after the females give birth. All jerboas are omnivores that live on a diet of plant matter and insects. Certain species may eat more insects than others, but this depends on the availability of food. They also derive all of the hydration that they need to survive from the food that they eat. Most jerboas will never actually drink water in their lives. Jerboas are secretive creatures, which makes sense given their tiny size. Their main predators are foxes, cats, jackals, small owls, and snakes, but they are also threatened by loss of habitat due to human encroachment. Unfortunately, jerboas don't have a good defense mechanism against predators and have to rely on hiding and jumping to escape danger. Because of their shy and elusive natures, researchers do not know a great deal about the mating and parenting behaviors of jerboas. 
Once their winter hibernation period is over and they re-emerge, mating season begins. Gerboas are believed to be polygynous, which means that a single male will often mate with multiple females, but the females will only mate with one male. Researchers do not know this for sure, but many closely related species behave in this way, so it is likely. Females usually breed two times during the summer, and they have a gestation period that ranges from 25 to 35 days. This is considered long for a rodent species, particularly because they have such short lifespans. A typical litter consists of two to six pups, and the mother will care for her babies until they are weaned. When they are born, babies are naked and cannot care for themselves. They develop relatively slowly compared to other rodents as well. Gerboa cannot jump at all until they are 11 weeks old, and they do not reach sexual maturity until 14 weeks, twice as long as it takes for most rodents to mature. Unfortunately, there is no data on exactly how many gerboas exist in the wild. Researchers have not found a way to get an accurate estimate of their numbers, but the International Union for the Conservation of Nature, IUCN, lists them as a species of least concern that is widespread but distributed irregularly, due to habitat fragmentation.